Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 148. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype because I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building, reoccurring guest in the building. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. What's up with it, man? It's your boy Amari J, man. Thank you for having me, man. Shout out to the Hype. You damn, you got to let me know this. This is international Hype. It's not local Hype. Let them know where you coming in from. Oh, uh, man, you already know, Bay Area, California, man, you already know, 1517, man, Richmond. Copy that. Just to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, we tentacles, there's things reach everywhere. <laughs> All right, so this is episode 148. Now, this is going to be like a recap of how to hustle. For those who've been listening uh, for years and for a long time, we appreciate you hitting the button. We appreciate you subscribing. And I know what the numbers look like. I know what the subscriptions look like. Let's just hit the subscribe. You go listen every week and I'll subscribe. What's it you on? <laughs> This is going to be like a recap joint. It's going to be a rapid fire for Mari J. We're going to get him to react to some topics that we did. But because I know some of the stuff that he got going on, we're going to get into that in the next segment. But you tell me what you think about this. Community outreach. You give me your thoughts and ideas on the community outreach. Community outreach, man, that's just building a, um, building you know, a bridge with your people, man, building a bridge with the people that's in the community, whether that's the parents, the kids, the youth, uh, the police department, the fire department, um, just it all flows together as a community, man. So uh, any, anything that's part of making a community and they're reaching it. Okay. Copy that. My bad. That was episode 99. Shouts out to my man, Ryan. Ryan will be the, keep saying this, Ryan will be the mayor around here. <laughs> shouts out to Ryan. <laughs> All Shout right. Out. Episode 113. Shouts out to my man Bruce Leroy. Salutations, Dallas, Texas. Uh, what does what does Amari J's self care look like? Oh man, you know, shoot. I just, you know, try to make sure a brother eat right, you know, a brother sleep well, um, and just stay working, man. You know, um, you know, uh, always stay fresh. You know, and uh, shoot, make sure you're always clean, man, you know. Okay. My self-care is horrible still. I'm working on it. Tyler, shout out to Tyler. I'm working on my self-care. Um, episode 126. Shout out to my bro, Sai. Get yourself solidified. You got some snakes that need to be clean. Get with my bro at Solidify. Uh, solidify Sai. He'll get you situated. Episode 126, though, was Lazy Relationships. What is what does a lazy relationship look like to Amari J? Shoot, ain't nobody putting in no effort. You feel me? Ain't nobody putting in no effort. That's what a lazy relationship look like. You did. You feel me? But if you with Amari J, you feel me? I'm gonna put in that effort. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so is this all right? So hold up, we're gonna we're gonna stop right here. This is not one of them situations because you just said I'm gonna put in the effort. So we're not saying that everything's helpful all the time, are we? Oh, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Nah. You know, shoot, I done made my mistakes in my past for sure. I own up to them. You know what I'm saying? Some people Copy can't. That. <laughs> Copy that. Now, yeah, episode man. 97. This is one of my West Coast guys. Shouts out to my man, Belly the Great. He out there. Bro. Out. This is LA. One of my LA guys. Episode 97. Yeah, and shit. All relationships have breaks. Mari J, should these relationships have breaks? You said it's your lazy relationships have breaks? No, shit. Relationships in general. Any relationship. That could be you and your uh, man, you and your girl, you and your uncle, your cousins, however, you, whatever relationship you want to use. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Come on, we gotta, you gotta give me a little bit more than I guess you could say that. Give me, come on, give it to us. I mean... And you got away. You got away with words, so I know you. You can yeah. give me a little bit better than that. I mean, I don't really know what that looked like. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, me personally, I don't know what that feel like. So I can't really speak on it. If I knew what it felt like, I'll tell you. But I don't know what that feel like. Shoot, I ain't never had a break either. It was over. It was done. Copy that. 
<laughs> All right, episode 117 again. Get with my man, solidified side. Um, it's my brother, Shout like out. I told niggas, man. I'm 12 11. I grew up 12 11, he grew up 12 12. That's my brother. Um, most underrated, which you what do you think is the most underrated? The most you underrated artist, you can just period. What's the most underrated? You can give me at least one or two. I'll give you an example of what I said on that episode. I said Jada Kiss. Hakeem Olajuwon. Those was two of my most underrated. <laughs> Who do you think is most underrated? Damn, man, that's a hard one. Uh, most underrated. Nipsey Hussle. Um, Chris Brown. Um, people like that. You said three or All two. Right. How many? I, hold up. So we, uh, Who's underrated? Nipsey. Nipsey is... Like a solidified snap. He is, but he highly underrated at the same time. Because he he should be like not saying he should be, but his, his level was greater than what he was on, even when he was like before he died. Like during during the marathon, that, that shit should have been way bigger. It was big, but it should have been way bigger, like than it was in my opinion. Like like he did a lot of shit independent. So, and, and, you know, a, a lot of that going sometimes go unnoticed until somebody die or something. Well, no, nah, uh, one thing is you already know, you know that that once you do die, everything becomes a bigger situation because that's just niggas for you or not even just niggas. That's just people in general. People don't like to give you flowers when you can smell them. Uh, Biggie and Pac become Biggie and Pac are the biggest at the time, but they become immortalized now because the catalog stops where the catalog stops. You're only getting two joints from Biggie. You're never going to get another verse. Pac had a whole bunch of joints in the tuck, but it's still all from that same time period. And Nipsey gets that same thing where when he's saying all that and doing all that, when he's selling the mixtapes for $100, everybody don't know about that. Everybody finds right. out about that after the fact, but uh, everybody's not aware and up on that. So, all right, I got you. Plus, I know me knowing you, I know Nipsey is your guy. I know who yeah. That that's uh that's the war that you really look to. So I understood that situation. So, and you said so. Chris Brown. Now you gotta give it. Who's underrating Chris Brown? Where is that one? At? I mean, it's 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 obvious if you really look at music. If you really a music um, person, then you would you would see just how they underrated Chris Brown. I mean, example like you know not letting them perform at the AMAs and, and shit like that. So you know um, he's highly underrated for the, some of the mistakes he made in his career. So um, I'm not saying that he ain't in a good spot, but he is underrated. He should, he should, he would have been way bigger if he didn't make some of the mistakes he made in his career. That's yeah, so I don't think nobody's underrated. him. ain't nobody ever denying that boy talent. None of that. Uh, when you have stuff on your resume, though, they're not going to, they're not going to show you the love that, you should be get that you could be that your talent is saying that you should be get, but yeah. um, yeah, ain't nobody. I don't got nobody saying like they're not just putting niggas the better as better than Chris Brown on the list. When you putting the list together of a performer, everybody got that boy top three. I'll just say. I mean, yeah, but not the not the you know not the the people that matter. I mean, in the music industry, though. That's what I'm, I'm trying to I'm about, about to say, yeah, yeah, okay, copy that, because I you was about saying? to say, yeah, I mean, like, the nigga who, that's, the nigga that's, who gets the sure, that's a fact, that's a fact, but he doesn't get the honor that he should get from the industry that he's in, you feel me? Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, again, that, because because of the background situation, that's, uh, yeah. that's not separating the art from the artist. Right, right, um, yeah. All right, we got another one. Episode 68. How did you become a man? Shouts out to my man, Quill. Damn. We like them kind of questions <laughs> where make you think and you ain't just, you know what I'm saying? We like those type joints over here. Man, that's a one hell of a question, though. I have to say, probably when I first went out on my own, you know, and um, just lived life on my own, lived on my own, lived with my my ex or whatever the case was like i probably say that and then meeting some of the older homies some of the older homies you know um put put me on 
you know, shout out Gully, shout out Burst Boy Bart, um, shout out to all of them, you feel me, R.I.P. Hillside, Keys and Ghost, feel me, Oakland, you already know, feel me, um, but, um, uh, yeah, I say a lot of Oakland helped me become a man, um, I say, like, yeah, a lot of just the gang homies as well, you know, shout out to the L.A. dudes, too, like, just all that kind of, like, helped me become a man, shoot, probably, um, you know, getting arrested, um, things of that nature. All right. This is, since you brought up the West Coast, again, I got a lot of niggas out there. Shouts out to my guys at Sports For You. West Coast. Uh, West Coast. My guys, West Coast. My guys over there at Sports For You, they out L.A., too. I know they tapped in and listening. Episode 66. Why do you need a woman? Oh, man. That's a, well, you need a woman for a lot of things, man. Um, you know, to hold you down, to, to, you know, to have some camaraderie, to have some loyalty, to have some, some positive, um, things in your life. You know, like Charlie Wilson said, man, you know, um, you would love your health better. So, um, stuff like that. And, um, you know, a woman has to conceive your child, and um, um, they just a very important part of, you know, being, a, if you a king, you need a queen, so that's just what it is, so shout out to all the ladies out there, all the women out there, you know what I'm saying, because, um, yeah, that's an important role, one of the most important roles in, in this world, in this world. Copy that. Episode 50, shout out to my man Aaron Dante. What do we need to normalize? You can give me one or two for this. We need to normalize what? I think we need to go back to normalizing R&B music, go back to normalizing relationships, go back to normalizing real, like Tupac and revolutions like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. That's what we need. Ain't mad at that. You got another one for me? Or oh, yeah, that was that was a good one right there. <laughs> you got right, another right, one for right. me? Or you good with that? Uh, I'm good with that. Feel me? Copy I'm good that. with that. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> on that one. I, on that one. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't mad at that one. All right, last one. This is the last one we're going to do, and then we're going to go to the next segment of the show. We're going to go to the recent episode. Shouts out to my girl, Taya. I know Taya locked in. Episode 144. Is happiness a choice? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, because a lot of motherfuckers choose not to be happy, man, and that's why they be depressed, mad, mad as hell at the world and whatever else, man, shit. I, hey, man, I ain't got everything I want. I went from nothing to Hollywood back to nothing and had to build it back up. But I ain't out here complaining and stressing shit. I'm glad I just got some shit. I'm glad I'm good. I'm glad I got something. You feel me? So I ain't tripping. Copy that. All right, I got one more that I want to do because I just seen this one. And this is get a, just get a lady's little insight on you. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. What can you... Wookie, uh, episode 112. Shouts out to Bob and T. 216 to blend. Catch the How to Hustle podcast with Hype every Wednesday at 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. on 216 to blend. Um, what would make you a better spouse? Oh, um, damn. Um, <laughs> I've never been a spouse, like, for real. So, like, married or something, but, um, now, that's a great question, man. Shoot. But probably a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things to, that I probably can't really think of, though. I, uh, but I'm sure a lot of things, man. Um, I know some former things I have problems with that I've already, you know, corrected. Um, I'm about to, yeah, we, don't, we, don't want to, we don't need to talk about the young mistakes that you made. We all made mistakes at a time in our lives. You know what I'm saying? The thing is to recognize that this was a mistake and correct it. That's what you just said. But uh, yeah. the question is, like, I'm telling niggas, I'm paid talent. I'm, I've been doing this for a while, for years. I, I know what I'm doing here. I want you to think about these joints. I want you to get, I want your audience to come here and say, damn, I didn't even know that about him. That's why I threw you a couple of different curveball situations. <laughs> and I like yeah, when, sure. it, when you get stumped, because I know now you're going to think about that, and then you're going to hit me and say, no, nah, I got an answer for you. I got an answer for you. Yeah, I get back on this. I can do that. So, yeah. That was a recap of a bunch of the episodes that we've done over here at the How to Hustle Podcast with Hype. But now we're going to switch it up and we're going to get there a little bit more to get to know personalized situations for just you. This is uh, sponsored by Custom Hustle. It's at Custom Hustle World on Instagram. It's Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. That is my clothing line. We do custom sneakers. 
these today. We got the CH3s on, the red and black situations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got four versions of the snakes, though. The ones, twos, threes, fours. And we're working on the fives. Sometime this summer, those fives will be out here. We got the handbags for the ladies. We got the sunglasses. Uh, we got the sweat shorts. We got the sweat suits. We got the collar shirts, the t-shirts, the barber capes. You name it, we got it. So, oh, damn. Don't let me forget about the jerseys, football, basketball, baseball, and hockey, and soccer. Uh, all of that at Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Now, we're going to do a little bit of get to know. I'm going to ask you this one. This is probably something I asked before because this is before the project came out, but now that it's out. 1517. Explain yes, that one sir. to me. 1517, man. You already know what time it is, man. You know, um, that's where I'm from. You know, um, that's that's to the day I die, man. It's 1517 for life. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's Granny House. You know what I'm saying? She right here. Me and my granny, man, 1517. You know, so it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Richmond. All right. Now, so you brought her up. I was going here. Your grandma. What does your yeah. grandma mean to you? She she meant the world to me, man, you know, so uh, it was only right to, you know, make the album where it all started. You know, that was that's that's the hood. That's the block. That's where I'm from. That's what I rep. That's what I, you know, um, will always have in my life. You know what I'm saying? And um, she gave me a lot of love and inspiration and, and things of that nature. So, you know, it was only right. I had to uh, to do it right. You feel me? So. Shout out to Granny, man, or our Peter Granny, and my uncle, uh, Uncle Rob, too, man. Not one of your songs. This is important. Not one of your personal songs. What yeah. song speaks directly to you? It could be rap, what it could you? be R&B joint, whatever it is. About you what? heard Just this anything? joint, whatever, whatever song. When you like, well, yo, when I heard whatever song, I felt like, damn, this joint was speaking right to me. What song is that? Uh, uh shoot, there's been a lot of songs. Uh, Chris Brown, Grass Ain't Greener. Um, uh, a lot of Michael Brown, Jackson, Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. Um, um, Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Um, give me one more. R. Kelly, I wish. Okay. Now, last joint. Why is Jada Kiss so annoying? Man, that's a good question, man. But um, it got a lot to do with politics and record labels and deals and people trying to stop your shine and block your shine. So who knows what haters try to block his shine and stop his shine, man. You know, uh, I'd have to look more into the story. Um, Shout out to him though. He's a he's an amazing artist and uh definitely deserves way more, but it's how the game go, you know. That boy got like thirty years, thirty something years in there, and he he ain't got ten verses that you like, no, nah, this wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is insane. Man. Yeah, no, I like him <laughs> on the uh little songs he got, I think, with Joe and Mario. Kiss got all like Kiss got all the versatility in the world. Like it, it baffles me that Kiss is as underrated as he is. But then again, it don't because the shit that gets the shit that people be having is popping is not the same type shit. All right, so now we're gonna get to the last segment, <laughs> the last segment of the show, which is what do we need to know? Sponsored by H two H Cleaning. That is at H two H Cleaning on Instagram only. We do roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts. Uh, we need a tree chop. You need a tree trim. You need some grass cut. You need something remodeled. You get with us over there at H2H Cleaning. Just let us know how you need us to help because we're here to help. Now, this is the floor is yours. You tell us everything that we need to know, Mari J. Let's go. Oh, man, you already know, man. So, hey, man, I am 1517. That's the new album. It's out right now. Go ahead and get that. That's the uh, sequel to the first album called 1517, you know, it had a lot of things in there. You know, a lot of people don't know, you feel me? You know, I'm really on this Michael Jackson shit. I'm really on this Chris Brown shit where it's like, I'm, I'm all my music, all my songs got all the old school type of stuff in it. Like I got a whole album called Heartbreak Hotel. That's Elvis Presley, Whitney Houston, and Michael Jackson all together. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, and then I, I my ex-girlfriends, one of them name is Whitney, one of them name is Preston, 
So it's like it all go together. You feel me? <laughs> nobody, no, yeah, nobody, nobody that's a music artist got them type of a background with the girls that got the name from the music artist. My favorite artist. You feel me? So. I'm just saying, bro, like, I'm not doing no playing with this music, bro. It's new music on the way. I'm not telling people too much about nothing no more. You know what I'm saying? Just know when they drop, it drop. You feel me? It's a lot of new shit coming, though, man. But we just going to keep feeding this fan base, man. 15, 17 for life, man. You know what time it is, man. And you already know, man. Um, no comments to the haters. All right. Nothing else you want to tell us about before we let you go? The floor is yours. We got anything going on. Let us. This is called. What do we need to know? Anything else you want to tell me that we need to know? Listen, I'm sick and tired of these punk motherfuckers stealing my goddamn shine out here, man. You know what time it is, man. You feel me? Shout out to my homie Ray J, man. We rolling back to back in that ghost, man. I don't care about nothing. So get ready for this new shit, for this new album. You know what I mean? And and it's gonna be off the hook, off the motherfucking wire, man. And I don't care about nothing. Except for making money, making good product, and help save the world. So that's what I'm on. My bad for the antics. I'm an entertainer, and I got to be able to sell this episode at the same motherfucking time. But y'all know what it is, man. So um, new foundations coming out, man. Go follow the Voice of the Youth page, because I am a humanitarian. Go follow the Heal, Heal One World page. I just created the Heal One World Foundation, and so that's um, a spinoff from the Heal the World Foundation. You already know what that's about. And then um, we got the new foundation also coming called the Lost Children Foundation, where we'll be um, helping save the kids. So uh, Copy that. The Hill One Foundation is what I'm looking right at, and I'm like, is the nigga going to bring it up? Is he going to bring it up? <laughs> so I'm not looking at it. I'm like, come on. I'm like, come on now. Go ahead. Yeah, man. You know, the Hill give One. Us, give us, yeah, give us a little bit on that. I'm try, I was trying to let you go. Go ahead. Give us a little bit on that one. Yeah, man. So the Hill One World Foundation, that's a humanitarian foundation um, and as well as um, a homeless foundation. We are we about to partner up with the Red Cross and the Peace Corps and we about to really go out here and do some things. Shoot, I might even take a flight to Belize. It's a lot going on, man. Um, but I'm more so focused on saving the world and helping the world um, rather than anything else at this point point in my career and my life. That's what I'm working on. So, yes, I do the music and yes, I got that still rolling and i'm never gonna stop and we're gonna do our thing but um i'm out here trying to save lives man because um that's what's important and that's guys work and um you know people gonna do what they want to do at the end of my life when i die when it's all said and done and i got my music wheel already you know what i'm saying 60 percent of my stuff gonna be going to humanitarian homeless shelter kids foster kids and all types of stuff like that man it's already said and done and written down so um you know protect your kids man that's all i can say and um you know make sure you um do your thing i don't even have kids myself though you know what i'm saying i made this voice of the youth and then helped out thousands of kids but i don't even got kids myself though so you know that takes one hell of a person to even step up and do that man especially from this generation with rap music and all these uh antics and gimmicks out here man so you know um i'm one of the realest still out here to do it and i'm, I'm gonna continue with nipsey also started that's period copy that i knew about that i wanted you to tell everybody else about that um but uh you already know what it is we got a safe space here with me so we ain't worrying about little antics a little fired up situations you know we like all of that shit over here the how to hustle podcast behind but uh mari j bro appreciate you for coming on that's episode 148 we are out I am hype. That's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up.